Hey guys, welcome back. I want to show you the pattern toolbar. In the previous videos, we have dealt with the constraints toolbar, also with the standard create toolbar. These are just tools that you use in between as you work with it. What I want to teach you now is the patterning. We will first start with rectangular pattern. Okay, let's say we're having a piece of sheet. Click, I'm going to dimension it. I'm going to call this 50. And there 25. Enter. Click in the middle of this box and everything will come into focus. Right. For rectangular pattern, what is done is that we do F some places where you draw a rasp or something or, or anything that has re repetitive shapes in a rectangular way. And then you will use rectangular patterning. So what I'm going to do here is getting ready to tangent. I'm going to draw across there. And I'm going to equal these two circles to one another. They are equal to one another. And I'm going to give it a size. Let's say we make it four millimeters. And let's go for tangent. One, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. Okay, that one is already tangented. That's why that little board comes up. And I'm going to use a modified trim. You can click in your mouse wheel to drag your drawing. Okay, that's what we have. And I'm going to trim that as well. Click in the center of the box. It will come back to the center. Okay, I'm going to pattern this five times in this direction and four times in that direction. A rectangular pattern. Now remember to do this pattern, you need a 90 degree angle where you can work from. Like this. Since this drawing is already a 90 degree angle or a right angle, I can put my directions on there. If not, uh, you're going to have to draw yourself something like that so that you can choose that for your directioning. Okay, let's go to our directions. Rectangular pattern. Uh, first, it, it asks for a ge geometry. Select the geometry. That's what we're going to pattern. Click on the direction button and you can choose where you want to go horizontal first or vertical. Let's say we'll be going vertical first. It's going upward. I don't want it to go upward. There's one, two of these. You can see there's two of them. And it's going upward. We can switch it so that it goes downward. So at the moment, we have two of these shapes at 10 millimeter apart. Two shapes, 10 millimeter apart. I want four in the, there. So I'm going to type in four. And there we have four shapes. And let's say I will be going for five millimeters. Let's make that six. Perfect. Okay. Let's go for the second direction. Click on the arrow for, for direction. We've already chosen down. Now we're choosing, choosing horizontal. Okay, 10 millimeter apart makes them still touch. So I'm going to go for 11. That's all right. And uh, I want five of these. Hope it fits. Okay, let's just go for four. And then take this to 13. 12.5. Okay, and now you say, okay, there you go. And there is a piece of plate that you've drawn with holes in. Uh, I'm going to extrude it. I'm pressing E for extrude. And clicking on the shape there. And a 10 millimeter thickness is chosen here. And I clicked on the shape. And if I want it, I can. But uh, let's go to 2 millimeters. And say OK. And that's my final shape for rectangular patterning. Let's go to circular Patterning. Undo all of these and highlight this and press delete. I'm going to click there for front to get everything back in fo focus. 
circular patterning I'm going to draw any shape let's say I'm drawing a flange and uh, I'm drawing a circle there I can draw I want 16 circles to be right around this but to have 16 being drawn it's going to take forever so what we do we draw one let's give this a size 565 let's give this a size 90 enter and let's give it a distance to 15 enter okay right I'm gonna click on circular pattern they're asking me for geometry first so don't click it it's already blue so just select your geometry now we're gonna go for our direction we want it to go around a point basically or circumference so click on there can either click on the point let's say undo circular pattern we click on there uh, sorry geometry first we click on it the, the, there and then we click on the circumference same thing you can switch the distance the direction that it goes to you can make it go for 180 degrees and then it will go halfway six circles 180 degrees um, let's say I'm gonna make this 11 I want it to go for 360 and that's what we're looking at okay and that there is your circular patterning I'm gonna press E for extrude roll your mouse wheel forward press in your roller mouse roller and, and or double click on it and then it will move to this into the center I'm gonna click on the shape I want the thickness of let's say 10 millimeters and press OK here we go that it was our circular patterning next one we can go for our mirroring let's go and mirror if I'm having a drawing here I'm busy drawing let's give all of these dimensions let's call it 275 325 and horizontal distance let's make that 300 so that's vertical and this is horizontal uh, let's make this uh, 90 and let's trim this whole thing let's go for trim and we're going to trim all of these oh what happened there oh by trimming that line we can put down another distance here between these two and then we can delete this okay there's my shape now if I want this shape to be patented to the other side I need to have a mirror line and then geometry so I'm gonna click on mirror and there they want the geometry so I'm gonna select all the geometry that's needed and they are looking for a mirror line okay, there's the mirror line and I'm going to click on the mirror line and all it needs to be done you click done sorry let's let's just do this quickly selecting geometry mirror line apply and done that is what we have okay that's the mirror function so your pattern toolbar has rectangular circular and mirror so I'm going to press E for extrude clicking on both shapes and just click OK I'm clicking the in the center and I can click on home to give you an isometric view thank you very much and that's all